I absolutely feel sad or scared sometimes. And I also feel all those other emotions that are in between those two ranges. And what's really important for me is for me to figure out what it is about a given situation that's making me feel that way. You know, I remember when I was watching video, and this was then years ago, but I was watching video of um, what was happening in New Orleans after Katrina hit, right? And I was watching people that looked like me who were stranded on rooftops. And I just remember this well of anger that I felt at the time. And that occasion, I had to just live in it for a little while. I remember watching the images on TV and just crying. And it wasn't, what I came to realize is it wasn't as much the anger, but it was the disillusionment, right? I believed that my country was X. And in that particular situation, it didn't, they weren't meeting my expectations. And so, and, it, and I also felt um, helpless because there was not something, I did not have a helicopter, I did not have a tank. I could not go in there and be the rescuer. And so, it's really important when, when you're feeling any kind of way to pay attention to it, to understand where it's coming from and understand whether it is a situation in which you have control over, uh, whether it's something that you can affect or impact. Um, and then you've got to figure out how to, how to categorize it, what to do with those feelings and emotions. And I remember doing some journaling. Um, I'm a sporadic journaler. And so when I feel strongly um, in one direction or the other, I find that journaling or, or writing it out helps me process it. It helps me better understand what it is that I'm feeling and why. Um, and when there's situations that I can actually do something about, that's when those, those feelings become um, the basis for action. And so I remember in our community when we kept having curfews, uh, and this was this was all part of some of the racial unrest that we've had over the last year. And I remember, again, feeling disillusioned, but uh, this time it was different. I felt as though there was something I could do in my role at the college to impact it. And so that became our civil discourse series that we've been doing internally as a college to learn how to um, talk with other people about issues on which you all disagree, but you don't leave um, with feelings of rancor. You don't leave... Um, angry with one another. Hopefully you leave with a level of respect and understanding that you didn't go into the conversation with. So sometimes that's what feelings can lead to.